I'm gonna show you how to make this really beautiful macrame pixel wall hanging and it's easier than you would think. Now let's get started. You are definitely gonna need the grid pattern for this so make sure you take a screenshot of it right now. And you're also gonna need a 12 inch wooden dowel as well as your 22 strands of cotton rope and medium worsted weight yarn. I will leave a link in the description box of everything that I use in this project. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is attach our rope onto our wooden dowel. So grab one of the strands and fold it in half. And then with the loop end, you wanna place that loop behind your wooden dowel. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach it using a lark said knot. And to do this, all you have to do is place the long tail ends in through the loop and then cinch it taut. And that's it, that's a lark's head knot. So let's tie the rest of our cord onto our wooden dowel. All right, so taking a look at our grid pattern, we're gonna start tying our knots right at the top left corner and work our way all the way across to the right. Each square on the grid represents a vertical double half hitch knot in the corresponding color. And our first color we're gonna start off with is off white. Our first vertical double half hitch knot will be tied around the very first strand of rope on our left. Working with a 60 inch strand of yarn, you wanna place the short tail end on your left and the long on your right. Make a loop on your right and then wrap your tail end around and through the loop. This is half of your vertical double half hitch knot, which is essentially just a loop. To complete the other half, you wanna do the same thing. So you wanna make a loop on your right Wrap your tail end around and through the loop. Don't tighten up your knot too tight at this point because you want to slide it all the way up to the top and then you can make your adjustments. You don't want your knot too tight and you don't want it too loose either. Okay, so to tie your second knot, you want to bring your yarn behind the next strand of cord. Then make a loop on your right. Wrap your tail end around and through the loop. Cinch that up to the top this time. And then you wanna repeat the same thing. So make a loop on your right, wrap your tail in around and through the loop. The entire image of this macrame wall hanging uses specifically vertical double half hitch knots. So that makes this project super easy and quite repetitive. It looks like it's a very complicated wall hanging, but really it's very easy. It's just the same knot over and over and over again. And I truly believe that even a beginner can handle this macrame project. However, it might be easier to use a smaller pattern to start out with. Smaller grids and less colors are always the easiest. Okay, so once I complete a row, I like to highlight it to mark my place. I have worked my way all the way across to the other side. Now what we need to do is go back in the opposite direction. Alrighty, so grab the same strand of yarn that you were working with in the previous row. And what you wanna do is bring that behind to the other side of your last strand of rope. And this time we're gonna make a loop on the left, wrap your tail end around and through the loop, cinch it up to the top and repeat. So it's basically the same thing we were doing, but in reverse. And I apologize for my camera jiggling around. My kids were doing parkour on the couch behind me. Eventually they moved on and had a Nerf gun war upstairs. It is never a dull moment at my house. There's always something crazy going on. Anyways, if you're having difficulty seeing, you can always slow down the speed of this video by tapping the three dots on the top right corner, or you can go ahead and check out my knot tutorial playlist where I show it in a little bit slower and more detail. Jumping ahead, now we reach the point where we need to switch colors and I'll show you exactly how to do that. Grab a 60 inch strand and we're gonna attach it just like we did at the very start of this project. So with your short tail end on the left and your long on the right, you wanna make a loop on your right, wrap your tail in around and through the loop and repeat. It is pretty easy peasy and the same thing that we did right at the very start of this project. Make sure you don't tie it too tight, slide it all the way up to the top and then go ahead and tighten it. Leave the short tail end tucked in behind the back and carry on tying your vertical double half hitch knots. Oh, also, because we're using 60 inch strands of yarn at one time, you might run out of length just like I did over here. 
So to fix that, all you would have to do is just leave your tail end at the end there and tuck it behind and then attach a new piece just like we did at the start and how we added the black. So if you ever run out of length, all you have to do is just attach a new piece. And don't worry about all those little loose ends. We are going to fix those right at the very end of this project. Okay, so I'm gonna skip ahead here just a little bit and I'll show you what to do when you need to switch back to the same color you were working with before. Okay, so double check to make sure that you have the correct amount of knots for your black. Then place your black strand down. Grab your previous off-white color and what we're gonna do is we're gonna run it behind the back of our work. Flip up all your cotton rope and then just grab your off-white yarn and then run it all along behind your work and make sure it's on top of your black strand as well. Now don't pull it too taut otherwise it might cause your work to pucker or pull in at the sides. And then all you would have to do is just bring it underneath your next strand of rope and then tie your vertical double half inch knots just the same as you were before. All right, so just to reiterate what I had just said, all you would have to do to switch back to the same color as you were working with before is just run it behind your work. Now, normally I always prefer to run my cord behind my work. However, sometimes there's an exception and that happens to be with this pattern. So once I get to the other wing, what I will do for this pattern is attach a new black piece on the other side. If you're more comfortable running it behind your work, you can go ahead and do that. However, it is quite a gap from one side to the other, so it's just easier to attach a new piece. I have a huge confession. For my very first pixel wall hanging, I hated it. I hated this type and style of macrame. It was so time consuming and it was a little tricky to master the tension of your knots. However, now that I've done a few, it is by far my very favorite way to macrame. It's like creating a painting, but out of knots. And the last row is so rewarding when you're finished. Okay, so now that you're done, you wanna take a moment to enjoy your work and then flip it over to the mess on the back. <laughs> all right, so to clean up the mess, all you have to do is grab any two strands of yarn that are close together and tie a double knot. Once your double knot is tied, all you have to do is just snip off the excess yarn. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that for the rest of our loose ends, and don't worry, it doesn't take nearly as long as the vertical double half hitch knots. Now I'm gonna leave the back just like this. However, there is a more professional way to finish off the back, but I'm gonna leave it like this and all that's left to do for this wall hanging is to trim up the bottom. Now, if you wanna learn how to professionally finish off the back of your wall hanging, I'll leave the link to that tutorial on the screen now. And if you've been eyeballing that dandelion that's been in the back of the video this whole time, I'll leave the link to that tutorial as well and I'll see you in the next one.